Okay, so will we finally get some inventory in a badly needed, broken real estate market, in my opinion? Hey everyone, it's Race Robinson, your favorite Florida mortgage broker, and these are your numbers for June, which covered till the end of May. And will we finally, finally, finally get some inventory? Because God, do we need it. So let's take a look at the numbers here. So right off the bat, let's look at, I like looking at month over month, from April to May, nothing. 5,148 homes in April. In May, we got one extra house on the market. I've been saying this, and if you watch some of my videos, almost all the time, uh, median price at a 370, now going up to 378. All of the indexes, Zillow, you know, Redfin, you name it, all showing price appreciation again. Again, limited inventory. Rates starting to trickle down, getting a little more people wanting to buy, and that's starting to pull prices up a little bit. Look at days on market reflecting exactly what I just said, going down from 1.86 to 1.63 homes on the market. And just to put that in perspective, a balanced market, which we have not seen in a long time, is about six months of inventory. Anything under three is a seller's market. And again, we are back under two months of inventory again, which unfortunately puts us right back into a seller's market. And we're gonna look at what the likely trajectory of 2023 is as rates start to change. So let's kind of run down the list here. I, you know, I do actually wanna look at um, foreclosures. I seen an article talking about how Florida and Texas uh, foreclosures have went through the roof. In Central Florida, we had 21 distressed homes, and that is a 16.7% increase. And yes, foreclosures are increasing for a few different reasons, but when you were at record lows, Everything above that is going to seem like a huge number, but we're still at record lows. If someone gets in financial trouble, here's what they're going to do. They're going to sell their house. So foreclosures are not going to save us. There's not a lot of inventory coming from foreclosures, and it really is making no difference in the market. But let's scroll down and just run through May here. So here we go. Rates, 6.62%. Remember, everyone's rate's different. Actually, rates are a little higher than that right now. Total homes on the market, 5,149. But of those, only 3,778 are single-family homes, 854 are condos, 517 are townhomes. Yes, we did get some new listings from last month to this month. But again, not in a meaningful way, not in a meaningful amount of supply that's going to move the needle or make a difference. Look right here at sales. So we went from 2,766 to 3,150, which is what you would expect. Sales are increasing. Unfortunately, supply is not. Days on market following, uh, following from 52 to 45. Now, I've said this in many videos. Don't want to beat a dead horse, but you've got record amounts of people with 2, 3, and 4% interest rates. To do a lateral move, it's five or $600 a month on average. Till rates fall, I'm going to say, and this is a made-up number, below 5%, you are not going to see those people in a meaningful way want to move because the payment is just too high and people buy on payments. There is starting to be some pent-up supply, in my opinion. People that want to move, want the extra bedroom, want to change areas, want to get a pool, whatever the case is. But when they look at the, when, you know, when I talk to some of those people and they look at the payment difference, they're like, yeah, we'll just sit it out for a while. So till rates fall, Again, I think under 5%, you're going to see this locked up inventory. And I really think this broken real estate market where we've had, you know, you know, demands even fallen, but just low, low inventory for such a long period of time, I just don't see how that's going to change this year and probably even into next year. So the way this market is, is going to continue to kind of be how it's been. And kind of a thought experiment here. If you look at, we had 3,150 sales in May. If we go back here to March of 2022, we had 4,100 sales. We only had 24, 2,478 homes on the market. What does that mean? It wasn't even a month. So it meant that houses, they would go on the market, go under contract the next day, and they would go way over asking because there was literally no inventory. Rates were coming off um, the all-time lows, but we're still really low, 4.2%. Now, the thought experiment is, we have 5,149 homes on the market. So a little bit of increase, double from then, but still very low. And we have 3,150 sales that happened in May. And we have rates, this saying 6.62%, but really rates are actually higher than that. Now, Fed just paused, CPI came in low, and I believe that rates will start slowly trickling down throughout this year. What's going to happen to the little bit of inventory that we have when rates start falling. 
I can tell you what's going to happen. Every time rates have fallen, mortgage applications increase. Yeah, that's great for me, but it makes it really, really competitive. And it makes a market that has been kind of flat start to continue to go up. Competition start ramping up. And if you're waiting for a good time to buy, there just isn't a good time to buy. Meaning if you're waiting for a market crash or rates to fall, none of those are good reasons to wait because the market's not going to crash. There is no inventory and rates are going to fall and it's just going to push more people in the market, increasing prices. So as always, do not try to time the real estate market. It's a lose-lose proposition. I've seen so many people lose at that game. And trust me, as rates fall, more people are going to jump in the market and it's going to get more competitive. This article from Redfin kind of says it all. Housing market update. Supply shortage worsens, propping up prices as near 7% mortgage rates handcuff homeowners. And again, they're saying kind of the same thing that I've said. So we're going to keep watching the data. What we want to see is, you know, we're watching builders to see if they can put a meaningful amount of supply on the market. They really can't because they're so far behind. If rates were to fall to a certain point, we might get people that, there's always going to be people that have to buy and sell, but we're going to get some of this pent up supply, maybe come on the market if rates were to get low enough. I don't see that happening this year for sure. And even in the next year. And then again, as rates fall, it just, it just levels out because yeah, maybe we get some supply, but then we get more demand and it gets back to the same conversation. So keep watching that. There are lots of programs out right now. If you are a buyer, rates are starting to fall. Get in before the competition. If you are a buyer, if you're a seller, you're in a great spot. It's still really a seller's market. When you price your home at what the, you know, the market is, they're not going crazy over asking price, but homes are selling extremely fast once they're priced right. Anyways, that's what the data shows now. And as more information becomes available that moves the market as always, I'll continue to cover it here. We'll watch the data, we'll watch the inventory. And if you have any questions on this, buying a home, selling a home, getting involved in investing in real estate, which I love to talk about. Reach out to me. I'd love to help. It's Race Robinson. Have a great day. Great week. Great month. As always, let me know what I can do to help. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.